KXAN first heard reports of severe weather out in the hill country tonight where hail and heavy winds came down and then moved east towards Austin. Alex Capriello spent most of the day in Horseshoe Bay. He talked with homeowners to see how they're getting ready for the severe weather ahead tonight. Alex. Yeah, actually, I was following that uh, severe weather threat uh, heading east on 71. It seemed like I was following it. As you can see right now, I ended up on the marina here in Lakeway. Rain still coming down. You can see it's almost blowing sideways as well as heavy gusts and some flashes of lightning. You might probably see a few behind me during this live hit. But as you were saying there, Sydney, I did spend most of my day by Lake LBJ out in Horseshoe Bay talking with homeowners. They were preparing for this severe weather because they know what it's like when it really does get bad. They were telling me all about that historic flooding back in the fall of 2018. And in fact, now's about the time that they're actually still recovering and cleaning up from that historic oh, flooding. Awesome. They're doing this now because the Lower Colorado River Authority actually lowered the water at Lake LBJ about four feet to give them time to actually repair some of their boat docks and some of the other structures that were that were actually impacted during that flooding. And so when I was talking to them about tonight's storms, I said, is this something you're worried about? And they said they always take it seriously. A little bit more apprehensive when you see a big flash flood warning and whatever else because the, the thought of getting your lower level flooded out, you know, kind of flashes back in your mind every time. So it, it's definitely right there at the top of your mind. It sure was top of mind for a lot of people that I spoke to. And in fact, some of those images you were seeing were their boat docks. You saw some rusted uh, pylons is what they're called. Some that had completely broken off. And so right now it's a mad dash to try to get as much, as it, uh, as much of it fixed before the water starts to fill up again. The Lower Colorado River Authority says that's going to happen sometime towards the end of February. Right now they've got it penciled in for February 24th. We'll have more on our uh, website, kxan.com, as we follow this severe weather threat. Reporting live in Lakeway, I'm Alex Capriello for KXAN News.